Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to review for the grade seven New York State mathematics exam. So we're gonna be taking samples from the 2014 release questions, so follow along with us. If you need help with your homework, there's dial a teacher homework helpline at 212-777-3380 from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday. That's 212-777-3380. You can also watch Math Time, our show, from 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday on Cablevision Channel 15. That's Tuesdays at 4.30 to 5 p.m. Cablevision Channel 15. All right, let's get started. The Lions won 15, 16 games last year. This year, the Lions won 20 games. What is the percent increase in the number of games the Lions won from last year to this year? Okay, so we got a difference that we have to find between the games that they won this year and last year. So let's find that difference. So this year, they won, it says, 20 games, so let's write that down. Last year they won 16, so let's find the difference between those two. So there's a difference between last year and this year of four games. We're gonna put all of that over last year's amount of games, which will be four over 16, and multiply that by 100, and that'll give us 400 four times one is 400 and 16 times one is 16 so let's get our calculator so we can reduce that 400 let me put it in. 400 let me get rid of that spot 400 divided by 16, and that'll give us 25, which is the percent that we were looking for. So let's pull this calculator down. So that'll be our answer, 25%. equals 25%. That is the increase in the amount of games over of that they won from last year to this year. So 20 minus 16, we found the difference between the amount of games that they won from this year and last year, and we put it over the previous year because that's the base of whatever we started from. Then we multiply that by 100 because we're looking for a percentage, changing that fraction to a percent by multiplying by 100, and that gives us 25, which is the 25% increase. Oh, nice question. Here we have Gina rented some shoes. She bowled three games and bought one order of nachos. She used a coupon for half off the price of her bowling games. What was Gina's total cost before tax was added? All right, let's go over what Gina did. First thing she did, she bought some shoes. So we better keep that in mind. What else did she do? So I'll put a little X right alongside there. Uh, she bowled some games. She bowled some games, and that'd be like that. Three games. Three games. And she bought one order of nachos. Let's put a little X here by the nachos. And she had a half price coupon for her bowling. So let's take a look at the bowling. The bowling was $2.50. we multiply that by three, let's clear that. 
three times two dollars and fifty cents. That'll give us how much you spent for the bowling. So let's write seven fifty. Seven dollars and fifty cents. So that's what you spent for the the bowling before she presented a coupon. Now there's a coupon for half off. So let's multiply this by half. times one half. So times a half. So let's get our calculator. 750 times one half. And that gives us three dollars and seventy five cents. So the bowling cost us three dollars and seventy five cents. All right, we want the total cost before taxes. So she also paid for the nachos and the shoe rentals. So let's get that all together. So Let's get everything she did. So the shoe rental was two dollars and seventy five cents plus the bowling games, three games at two fifty, but they were half price games, so they cost her three dollars and seventy five cents and she bought a bag of nachos which was a dollar seventy five. So let's see how much that equals. And we got our trusty calculator. So let's cl clear this. $2.75 plus $3.75 plus $1.75 for the nachos. And that'll give us a total of eight dollars and twenty-five cents. So that's what she spent before they charged her tax. So our answer would be eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, and there's all the work that we just did again. So we found how much she was charged for bowling, two dollars and fifty cents per game. We multiplied that by three. They give us seven fifty. And then we took half of that because it was a half off price for the coupon she had that gave her three dollars and seventy five cents that she paid for the bowling. Then we added up the bowling, the shoe rental, and the nachos, and that's how we got eight dollars and twenty five cents. So nice job. How do you solve for the value of y? All right, we have two thirds parenthesis y plus 57 equals 178. Well, when you have a number next to a parenthesis, that means multiply. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide by two thirds. I'm going to divide both sides by two thirds. So let me go over here and write divide by two thirds. That way, my two thirds will cancel out here, leaving me with y plus 57. And now I got to divide 178 by two thirds. So I got my trusty calculator here. Let's clear that. Move it over a little bit. 178 divided by 2 thirds and that gives me 267 so 267 now I got to figure out what number 
plus 57 equals 267. Well, if I just minus 57 from both sides, that'll cancel out, leaving me with y equals 210. So there's my answer. y is 210. So that's how you would solve for y. Good question. Check your understanding. If you understand it so far, you're in good shape. If you're not certain yet, please rewatch the video. Write down any questions you may have so we can answer them in class. Here's another question. Dan bought a computer that was 20% off the regular price of $1,080. If, if A, sales tax, was added to the cost of sale if a eight percent sales tax was added to the cost of the computer what was the total price dan paid for it all right okay dan i know there's a little formula that helps you out with discount total equals the price times one minus the rate and the price of the computer was $1,080. We multiply that by 1 minus the 20%. That'll give us what we pay in total for the, com for the computer. So let's get our trusty calculator up again. Clear this stuff. So we got $1,080 times 1 minus the 20% discount, second, left parenthesis, and close parenthesis. So this will give us what Dan paid for the computer, but this is without sales tax. So that's what he would pay for the computer if there were no sales tax, but there is sales tax. So we have the same formula, except just a little bit different we're gonna use. T equals the price, the new price, times one plus the rate of sales tax. And that'll give us the total cost. So the new price was 864, and we're gonna multiply that one times one plus the eight percent sales tax and that'll give us the real to the new total cost so let's get our calculator one more time let's clear so we got 864 times one plus the eight percent because sales tax is added on to the price where discount is subtracted from the price. And let's close parenthesis and let's see what Dan pays. Dan's total will be $933.12 and cents will be his total. So that's how much Dan will pay for the calculator. Nice work. So to memorize these formulas, they'll really help you for discount and sales tax. They're almost the same formula, but discount is the difference. That's how I remember to subtract. Sales tax is like a sum. That's how I remember to add. All right, Helen bought a sweater at the sale price of $25. So, oh, the sale price was $25. The original cost of the sweater was $40, so they reduced the price. What was the percent? What percent represents the discount that Helen received when buying the sweater? So Helen had some type of savings on the sweater. It was $40, but it got reduced down to $25. So if I subtract that, that'll give me a difference of $15. And I'm going to put that over the original price of $40. So I'll have... 15 over 40, and to get it a percent, I'm going to multiply it by 100. 
So to multiply, I put a 1 down there. I'll have 1,500 over 40 times 1 is 40. Now let me get my calculator. And I'll be done in a second. So get my calculator. Let's move it over here. Clear this. 1,500 divided by 40 will give me the percent. And that's 37.5%. So that's my answer, 37.5%. So that's how much she saved, or the discount was, in, for her to buy that sweater. So that's a good question. So check your understanding, see if you understand it. If you're still uncertain, rewatch the video and bring in your questions. So remember, dial the teacher help hotline for homework, and it's 212-777-3380. Remember, from Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Remember to watch Math Time on Tuesdays from 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Cablevision Channel 15. Good luck on your exam. I know you'll do well because you have studied and watched my videos. I have other videos on there. So if you are enjoying them, please give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye-bye.